Today I'm going to show you a resource that allows you to have vehicle keys as an item in your server. It was created by this person. I left a link in the description to their Discord for support, as well as a link to the resource. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Once you're there, hit the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. Then in your resources, go to the QB folder and find QB vehicle keys. Once you found it, delete it. Then drag over what you downloaded. Once you've done that, be sure to remove the main from the end. Next, you need to add the images, so go into the resource folder, go into the image folder, and copy this image here. Then go back to the QB folder and find QB inventory. Go into the HTML folder, go into the images folder, and paste what you copied. Close out of this. Next, you need to run the SQL however you do. I left a link in the description to a video made by Anna that shows multiple methods. After you've done that, go back to the resource on GitHub and scroll down. And copy this section of code here for the item and go to your server resources and into the QB folder. Find QB core, go into shared, then open the items.lua. Once you're in there, paste the item, then hit file and save. Next, you need to edit QB inventory, so copy this section here. Then go back to the QB folder in your resources and find QB inventory. Go into the HTML folder, JS, then open the app.js. Once you're in there, scroll down. And it should be in this section here around line 427. Under lab key, hit enter, and paste what you copied. Just going to clean this up a bit. Then hit file and save. Next, go back to your resources in the QB folder and find QB vehicle shop. Then open the client.lua. Once you're in there, use control F and search for buy showroom vehicle. Cycle through until you find this one and find where it says trigger event vehicle keys client set owner and comment that out. Then go back to the resource on GitHub and copy this section here. Then go back and add it under line 734. If it's different for you, just add it under this event. Then hit file and save. Then go back to the QB folder and go into QB garages. Go into the client folder and open the main.lua. Once you're in there, use control F again and search for take out garage. Then cycle through until you find this one. And comment this out where it says trigger event vehicle keys client set owner. Then hit file and save. The last thing we'll look at is the config. The first thing in here is the option to lockpick NPC cars. This applies to parked vehicles, and with the set to true, they'll be locked. The next section is for the keymaster, which is where you go to change the locks or get a new key. 
You have the ped model. I'll attach what it looks like by default and the ped location. That's followed by the price to get a new key and the price to reset or change the locks. Then you have options for hot wiring and lock picking. You have the chance for success and the chance players lose the lock pick when they fail. The removal chance is separated between the regular and advanced lock pick. Next to the hot wiring time options, you have the time between them and the minimum and maximum time it takes. You can adjust all of this to your liking. Then you have the police alert cooldown, which is set to 10 seconds, and the chance of police being alerted during the day and at night. The last section in here is for vehicles that can't be stolen. There's only one here, which is a stockade. I think that's the bank truck. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save, then start your server and test it out. If you're looking for hosting, check out one of one servers. One of one servers is a cutting edge VPS and dedicated server provider specializing in top notch features like reliable network, unlimited player slots, and advanced DDoS protection. Their servers guarantee smooth gaming experiences with powerful hardware, lightning fast NVMe SSD storage, and high speed internet. The servers are available to you after payment and you can get started with the setup immediately. They also offer 24 7 customer support so you can get help when you need it. Use the link in the description to check out all the features and get started. Now back to the video. So I'm back in the server now and at the dealership, I go ahead and buy a vehicle. And as you can see, I received the vehicle key. So I'll go ahead and go to the garage and park it. And then I'll take it out again. Now, if you don't have the key in your inventory, the vehicle will shut off and you'll have to hotwire it. And once you get it back, it starts. So I'll go ahead and go to the key master location. As I mentioned before, this is where you go to change the locks or get a new key. So say I lost my key, I'm just gonna put it on the ground. Go ahead and interact with him and get a key. Then select the vehicle you want the key for from the menu. So I got a new key. I'll go ahead and get back in the car. And it works. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. You can also join the Creators Discord as well. Thank you for watching.